Hi! Good day! Welcome back to our class in Biochemistry Laboratory. Today, we are going to perform an activity that is on the elementary composition of proteins. This is already activity number seven. We have done in the past already the activities about carbohydrates and the lipids or the fats and oils. And the third biomolecule that we're going to perform or demonstrate this afternoon is about the elementary composition of proteins. For the first part of this activity, we're going to prove the presence of carbon and hydrogen. In this case, we're going to heat a piece of casein in the test tube. So this is the casein. So this is the casein inside the test tube. And I want you to observe what happens after I'm going to hit this. Observe what happens. I want you to look at what happens to the casein at the bottom of the test tube. What happens to the color? A while ago, the color of the casein was lighter yellow. And this time after heating, what is the color of the casein? Notice also the gas that is emitted or issued out by the casein. Look at the test tube containing the gas. What gas is this? The next composition of the protein that we're going to prove is the presence of the nitrogen. Here, we're going to mix the soda lime with the casein in a mortar and pestle. This is the mortar and pestle. We're going to put here the soda lime. This is the soda lime. And this is the casein. Then let's mix these two in the mortar. And the use of the pestle, let's mix it. Then let's transfer this mixture of the soda lime and the casein into the test tube. And we're going to heat this over the flame while exposing a wet red litmus paper. So this is the red litmus paper. That's color red. And once there is the gas that is issued out by this mixture, 
after heating this for some minutes, then we are going to expose this red litmus paper onto the gas that is issued out. I want you to observe what happens to the red litmus paper. Observe what happens to the color of the red litmus paper. So what happens to the color of the red litmus paper? being exposed to the gas issued out when the mixture of the soda lime and the casein is heated. For the next elementary composition of protein that we are going to prove, it is the presence of sulfur and phosphorus. So we can get this if we are going to make a fusion mixture first. So in a fusion mixture, we are going to mix the sodium carbonate with the potassium nitrate. So I have here two packs of the sodium carbonate and also one pack of the potassium nitrate. And we're going to mix this. Let's mix this in a crucible. And this is the sodium carbonate. With the sodium carbonate and the potassium nitrate placed in the crucible, we're going to mix this first before it is to be heated. And to this mixture, we are going to add a small amount of the casein. And we will mix the casein into the fusion mixture. Okay, after mixing it thoroughly, we are going to heat this over the flame. Okay, after heating it, we're going to cool this for some time and we're going to add to this a small amount of water, warm water. So we have already cooled the fusion mixture together with the casein and heated. And this time we are going to add this with 
a small amount of warm water. So we have already here the warm water. So we have already dissolved the mixture and the next step is we're going to filter it. So this is not a field tray that we have collected. With this field tray, we are going to divide this into two parts. To one part, we are going to submit this for a sulfur test, and the other part, we are going to submit this to a phosphorus test. So let's start with the sulfur test. To this filtrate, we are going to add to this dilute hydrochloric acid until it becomes acidic. And we will heat the solution to boiling and add several drops of barium chloride. How do we know that it becomes acidic when we add it with hydrochloric acid? So we're going to put a blue litmus paper onto the solution, then add drops of the dilute hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to drop now the hydrochloric acid until that blue litmus paper down there will become red. So that means it's already acidified. So that's it. Okay, at least it has turned red, so this is already now acidified. Then we're going to heat this in the water bath. When it starts to boil, we're going to add this with the barium chloride solution. While waiting for the test for the presence of sulfur, we're going to perform the test for the presence of the phosphorus. For this part of the filtrate that we reserve a while ago for the test of phosphorus, we are going to acidify this with nitric acid. And we will also heat this in the water bath.
So for the test of the presence of sulfur, this mixture is already boiling, so we will add to this several drops of barium chloride solution. Observe what happens. And to this second part of the filtrate, which we added it with the nitric acid and heated nearly to boiling, then we will add to this few drops of ammonium molybdate. So this is the ammonium molybdate. And I want you to observe what happens. What color have you observed? So you're going to take note of your observations and also answer the questions asked in the lab guide and kindly write a formal report about this activity. So those are all for the elementary composition of proteins. And this is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.